Good day. Welcome to Orange County Talk Radio. Orange County Talk Radio, produced by Shark Creative. I'm John Marino, and we are made possible by people like, well, people who work up and down the Hudson Valley, seven-county region, matter of fact, like Robeson Oil, the house that service built, Michael Labriola, landscape design and construction of Armonk in Westchester, also Westchester-based high tower, Westchester managing your wealth all through Alpha Hudson Valley up and down to a fiduciary standard and by Jaguar Land Rover. They're up and down and throughout the Hudson Valley too. And they have places in Westchester, for example, like New Rochelle, White Plains and Mount Kisco. Here we are. What's happening in the lower Hudson Valley? We are joined by Luis Abramson. He is the founder of the Prostate Cancer Support Group, CHJI, Cultivating Healing and Justice Initiatives, and they are based in Middletown and Warwick here in Orange County. Luis, welcome back. How is your cancer recovery going? Well, it's going great. Thank you so much uh, for having me, John. Uh, And thank you for the uh, Orange County uh, Talk Radio Shark uh, Creative. Um, uh, It's it's been a journey. you know, and uh, definitely, you know, um, I have to report that I'm doing good, and uh, and that um, uh, our organization has done, you know, quite quite uh, fun things uh, in the community. So uh, yeah, I'm impressed by I'm how much you get around you everything that you do. Now you can live a normal life, right? Your life, oh, absolutely, is pretty normal. Okay, good. That's um, good. So you are trending in the right direction, right? Uh, Absolutely, you can you can definitely live a very normal life. Uh, I think the key the 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 key to everything though is early screening. And you have an that, event um, coming up in early it, November, yeah. which deals with early screening, right? In Correct. Them. Yeah. Tell yeah, us definitely. about that event. So, uh, so we're gonna have on November um, uh, fifth. We will be having, um, and that's a Saturday, our first, correct? Yeah, which is a Saturday. Yeah. We'll, be, we'll be having our first uh, Movember. So, you know, as you know, if you see, I got a little beer going on and a little growth. And that's because uh, um, it's in support of coming in under uh, uh, a solar lottery that we support men uh, going through cancer, uh, especially one of the the second highest killer in the United States, which is now you cancer. say Movember. So, by the way, that's mm-hmm. November with an M instead of an yeah. M. Right? Yeah. What does like uh, like like, like to say mustache, right? Okay, right. there so, you go. All right. So that's 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 how you connect it. So yeah. it originally started in uh, in in the UK and then it, in a, and then it started making abroad and it really started with with two guys in the bar having a conversation of, of how they could you know you know look into um uh spreading the the word of you know um get on going out there getting screened looking at you know your health with, with a better lens. So and it, and it's caught on, and it's here in the U.S. now, and um, and uh, we are definitely championing that. We're doing our own. Um, it's in the town of uh, Walk Hill, uh, in with, Middletown, um, right? Uh, in, right in Middletown, yep. uh, and considered the medical beltway uh, for many. And uh, ninety nine Tower we're Drive, doing, and that's Building A, right? Yeah. So it's ninety nine Tower Drive, Building A. In Middletown, um, for some of you, the they uh, punching it in, in in your GPS uh, system navigation in your, in your car, zip code one zero nine four one. It's going to be inside the town hall, uh, inside the in uh, in town of Warkill. Um, this is something that uh, we're doing in conjunction with uh, the uh, the town supervisor of Warkill, Mr. George Rano, um, and also with. Uh, Westchester um, Medical Center Health Network, uh, Bond Secure Medical Group in the Good Samaritan Hospital, and um, and uh, it's something where it is so so important to do. Um, it is a total free pro- uh, um, specific antigen uh, blood testing, which means PSA testing. It's only blood drawn. Uh, they will be uh, done there. Um, obviously, there will be doctors. Uh, on board that you can um, ask questions. Um, and uh, it's all about getting that early diagnosis so so that you're able to beat a cancer early on, which which greatly 
increases the potential of having um, a better outcome uh, um, uh, in all levels of treatment, as well as success in uh, in combating a cancer that that without any treatment will will in fact kill you. Um, the ages that we're looking for are ages forty to seventy five. But if you have uh, members of your family who have had this cancer, whether it be your brother, uh, dad, or grandfather, uh, if you have some lineage, lineage um, with with a family either either side, mom or dad, who has had cancer, then you're very encouraged to come and also get you know um, uh, uh, a uh, a screening because you may be uh, uh, you may have. Uh, uh, this cancer and you don't know it. And it's one of the cancers that is very silent. It builds in your body very slowly and, and it does, it has very little indication of, um, uh, of, uh, of symptoms. Um, so, mm -hmm. so it, in, and it does mask itself. You know, you, you think that maybe it, it's, it's just because, you know, you're getting older and, and, you know, and going to the bathroom is just more frequent and this and that. So it does mask it, itself. Uh, but sometimes the screening doesn't necessarily mean that you have prostate cancer. It means it probably has uh, other medical uh, issues that are happening. But the mere fact is getting you in there so that we can rule this out. Um, because I had it as young as 40 myself. So that means that you can you can have this cancer at forty or 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 younger. Um, every man is different. You know, you can be exposed to toxics, uh, or it can be because of your family history, DNA, right? Um, you know, the the Bronca gene is 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 a fact a a way to you know determine you know how you know how prevalent prevalent the cancer is in in your family and yourself and. And even on your on your on your new loved ones, right? Your children. So, so you have to really look at, you know, you, you know all these factors. And this is uh, a screening that is highly promoted for first responders and veterans. Um, uh, there will be um, uh, refreshments and snacks available. And the time is from ten a.m. to uh, two p.m. Um, and, and you're going to have a urologist too, right? On of site? course, of course, of course. So you know, so you have somebody to you know to ask questions. Uh, I think it's something that um, that it's uh, it, it's uh, it's something that needs to you know uh, be known. A lot of first responders and veterans are exposed to many toxins, and those toxins do lead to can cancer diagnosis later on in, in life. And it's important that you know you be screened and know you know if your numbers are starting to increase because that will give. A, an idea of, you know, your risk. Is there any way with this kind of testing to tell if you are maybe predisposed to getting prostate cancer? Oh, absolutely. You know, the, the specific antigen that are found in, the, in, uh, in this blood test can determine um, the aggressiveness and how high it, that is, and it, you know, and in some men, if it's very very low, the numbers, um, then it's it's just a matter of just you know following with doctors. They will put you on on just observation, you know, and monitoring, and it, 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 you know. But if you are that patient that you your numbers are so high that that you need follow ups like a biopsy, um, and other interventions, at least now you have that you have an indicator that is, that is getting you to that, that point in time where you're going to have this conversation, you know, and you cannot be afraid of this because the fact is that, um, avoiding it, it's, it's, is, is as bad as, as the cancer itself, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and I am not a doctor. Uh, I, I'm an advocate and a patient has gone through this, but I, what I can say to you is that, you know, um, and this is something that, you know, guys need to be determined to uh, make sure that this is not something that is going to end their life, especially when it's a cancer that can be cruel, then can be very cruel, but can be also cured. Um, it, you know, so, it, you know, so why not know your numbers, right? Right. Comprehensive Healing and Justice Initiatives founder, 
Luis Abramson, CHJI, based in Middletown and Warwick, prostate cancer support group. You talked about how the numbers or how this cancer may grow slowly in you. Mm -hmm. Is there a way for you to see alarm bells going off where maybe your numbers rise or spike from all the way down at the bottom and all of a sudden they jump up like this? Is that possible they can go from like one to a four, like overnight or over the course of a few months or a year? Or like you said, this just mostly comes about slowly. Well, this is a uh, uh, this is a very slow uh, growing cancer, uh, um, but it can accelerate based on the exposure uh, to um, anything. It can be from as far as uh, uh, with vets with Agent Orange to you know exposure with um, uh, uh, other chemicals, uh, you know, um, and it can definitely grow in your body. the The way that uh, that me as a patient, I've I've seen it is that you know it, it it all starts with that with that blood test. You know, um, there is a, a misconception that you know it, it, you know that you know guys you know and are afraid because doctor will use you know the the finger test right you know and everybody's like oh you know no you know but the reality is that that the that the that the science is, has gotten much more advanced since since those days. Um, uh, you would definitely go see, get a biopsy. Um, if your numbers are seen, uh, uh, come back from the, from the laboratory, uh, uh, at a, uh, at a very high rate, uh, 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 uh on the first, uh, uh, blood drawn. Um, you know, like I've heard, and again, don't call me on this, but I've heard that over 40, I'm sorry, uh, uh that if you're at 40, age 40, and you're looking at um, a PSA that is above four, you know, that 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 is kind of like already like a big old sign. Like, hey, you know, this is you got an aggressive one. Uh -huh. And um, and then and then you look at also they 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 also do the Gleason test. And, you know, which when you when you do the biopsy and, and the results come back. Um, you know, they get to know how, what, what is the aggressiveness, which, uh, of, of the cancer, because now they've seen it under a scope, under a lab. And now they, they, they know, um, you know, like, uh, uh, like, um, if you, if you're Gleason seven, Gleason six and Gleason eight, and, the, and that, though, that actually makes a big difference because that's it, because all of those are, are ways of determining um, how aggressive your, your, your cancer is, how fast is it moving? Um, they, they do an MRI, um, which is so important. And so they get to see, you know, you know, has it, has it, is it, is it still contained in the, in your prostate? Has it moved out of your prostate? Um, some patients, it, un unfortunately, when they catch it is metastatic. So they're, it's all over your body now at this point. Um, so, so the treatment, my my change um from uh from doing surgery to doing uh radiation and or, or 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 some form of that and so every guy is different like you will never have the same procedure and the same the whole thing everybody down the line you you can have a guy age 40 and that will be surgery or it will be something else you will have a, a, a guy in the mid 60s where um, so every patient is different, and this is why it's so important to come in because you know you may have predisposed other health matters. They will immediately change how your treatment is going to be. But true or I think false, if you catch this cancer early enough, you have a really good chance of beating it. Among the best out of all the cancers. Yeah, and and and, and so there is no reason why. There should be such a big number of men uh, um, dying from this, especially when when the uh, when the when the care is there, the the awareness and the knowledge is is already present. There's a lot of hospitals that are working towards um, uh, uh, um, continuing to both educate and uh, and uh, work 
uh, you know, integrate it so they can have programming that fits the client. And I think that one of the things that is so important is that this is a mental health issue as well. You know, you know, you have you have a person that ha- that is diagnosed with cancer, goes through the cancer, or all the steps. And while this is going, they're also having, uh, you know, the anxiety, the stress, and 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 thereafter, you know, um, there could be other other issues that they that happen after prostate cancer. So so it's a very so so it's just such an important um uh uh um uh situation that uh requires real uh emphasis and attention. And mm-hmm. I, and so come down to uh nine nine tower drive and um, building a a if 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 you lost you just just look for the sign that says town hall at the uh at the town of Walkill, and um and, that's saturday and, and november Middletown. 5th again yeah in middletown yeah. on, and the on hours saturday on saturday november 10th uh the, the november 5th and uh, 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 november 5th um at uh 10 a.m to 2 p.m again there'll be refreshments there there's snacks there um, I encourage uh, all my brothers, uh, both uh, retired and active, and in law enforcement and um, and the fire department as well as uh, EMS, and uh, and my veteran brothers to all come down. You know, you, you know whether you active or retired, you know, um, and come down and and get yourself checked. You know, um, it, it, you know I, I think we all want to be uh, we all want to we want to be the healthiest we can. Uh, we want to be here for our family and. Um, and uh, uh, I'm gonna just gonna leave you off with with just you know um, uh, one of the things is that if you uh, if you need a call get some more information you can reach uh, the office at eight seven seven two four five four two two seven again the number is eight seven seven at two four five four two two seven and uh, your email and the email where we can be reached is uh, info at c H J I support services.org and the um, website and our website where you can follow us is uh C H J I S S dot org. And, um, and, and again, you're all you know, social media too. Yeah. You know, we're on Facebook and, um, uh, that one is, um, cultivating healing and justice initiative. That is our Facebook. And, um, you know, just, just get out there, you know, um, and knowing is power. And, uh, and if you can, you know, save, save somebody else's life or your own, it's important that you come down, you know, get yourself screened, you know, um, because, um, uh, uh, it, you can in fact curve, uh, any of these diagnoses, but you have to be proactive. My uncle passed away from something that was not prostate cancer related, but he lived with it for 14 years because he was detected early enough on. So Luis, again, glad you're doing well and keep it up regards to Karen who helps run. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that, that is, that, that is the, the, uh, Karen the backbone. That, that, yeah. Right? She is the backbone of this, you know, without her, there's no, this, so yeah, without her, there's you. no Luis, right? That's right. That's right. Okay. All right. Luis. Abramson is the founder of CHJI, Comprehensive Healing and Justice Initiatives, Prostate Cancer Support Group based in Middletown and in Warwick. And again, that is on Saturday, November 5th. Come down and get screened for prostate cancer. Hopefully all will go well with your screening. And that's at 99 Tower Drive. And that is Building A in Middletown. Again, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday, November 5th. Luis, a shout out one more time to all the sponsors that day. Well, yeah. So I first I want a big shout out to the town of Walkale. Um, and all in, 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 and everybody in the, in the group, as well as to, uh, uh, WMC health, uh, Westchester Med- medical center, the Westchester medical Bell health. Health, yeah. Uh, uh, and, uh, bond secure medical group in good Samaritan. And as well, a good, big shout out to shark Re- creative, you know, uh, you know, for, uh, uh, helping us, you know, um, uh, put this out there. You know, and uh, and thank you so much, and and thank you for all the participants and all the uh, and all of the CJI um, uh, volunteers, and uh, and thank you again.
Louis Abramson, founder CHJI. You see the big logo right behind him. Louis in a blue shirt, CHJI color. And you have the big logo on top of him, right above his head there. And <laughs> right across. Yeah, the well. <laughs> Dark and creative logo. They match up perfectly. I'm John Marino, and this is Orange County Talk Radio, produced by Shark Creative, made possible by a variety of people who work all throughout the seven-county region of the Hudson Valley, like Michael Labriola, landscape design and construction of Armonk down in Westchester, also by Robeson Oil, the house that service built. Hightower Westchester manages your wealth to a fiduciary standard all throughout the Hudson Valley and Jaguar Land Rover is located throughout the Hudson Valley too. They begin in the southern portion of the Hudson Valley in Westchester in places like New Rochelle, White Plains, and Mount Kisco too. Catch all of our Orange, Dutchess, Rockland, Putnam, Westchester, and Fairfield County Talk Radio programming on our YouTube channel, Shark Creative YouTube, and yes, we are now on Apple Podcasts too.